In the dawn of the orchards, a golden fruit captures the essence of the sun, the orange. But behind its bright facade and sweet flavor, does a more complex truth lie hidden? This video explores the duality of the orange, acclaimed for its vitamins and questioned for its sugar content. We will navigate through the science and controversy, weighing its antioxidant benefits against the potential risks to our metabolic health. Let's discover together the true impact of the orange on our well-being. To the eye, the orange is a capsule of life, its textured and vibrant peel enclosing a juicy heart, compartmentalized into segments. Upon biting, the palate is flooded with a flavor that balances acidity with sweetness, a dance of sensations evoking sunlit fields and fertile soil. The sensory experience of the orange is a promise of freshness and vitality. But is this sensory perception a true representation of its nutritional value? The harvesting of oranges is a meticulous process that, in modernity, has embraced technology without forsaking the human touch. From managing the flora to ensure optimal ripeness to the careful selection and gathering process, each step has nutritional implications. The use of pesticides and herbicides, though regulated, raises a pertinent question about the chemical residues that could affect the fruit's purity and, consequently, health. The production of oranges does not escape the criticism of practices that may affect their nutritional composition, like selecting high-yield varieties over more nutritious ones. Nutritionally, oranges are complex. Starting with vitamin C, they are globally recognized as its standard bearer. This essential antioxidant combats free radicals and is vital for collagen synthesis, iron absorption, and immunity. But the story doesn't end there. Oranges are also a considerable source of fiber, potassium, and phytochemical compounds like flavonoids, which have anti-inflammatory properties and may help reduce the risk of chronic diseases. However, the presence of fructose, the natural sugar in fruits, is at the heart of a nutritional dispute. Although fructose in its natural form comes with a package of fiber and nutrients that modulate its absorption. Excessive intake has been linked to health issues such as insulin resistance and fatty liver. The mechanisms behind these effects are complex. Fructose follows a metabolic pathway that can overburden the liver if consumed in large amounts. Comparing the orange to its citrus relatives, such as lemon or grapefruit, there is a similar richness in vitamins and minerals, but with variations in flavor profile and sugars. The mandarin, for example, may be sweeter and less acidic than the orange, which influences its nutritional profile and the impact on sugar metabolism. The most beneficial way to consume oranges is in their natural state, not in processed juices where fiber is lost and sugar concentration is higher. The regular and daily consumption of oranges carries a potential antioxidant and nutritive that could reinforce defense against infections and improve cardiovascular health. But what happens if one consumes oranges every day for a month? Studies have shown that moderate consumption positively contributes to the body's antioxidant state and blood pressure. However, the overload of fructose, even from natural sources, could become a burden for the metabolism if combined with a diet high in additional sugars. Exploring the risks, it is essential to consider the dosage and the overall dietary context. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition suggests that the consumption of whole fruits, including oranges, is not associated with weight gain, unlike the consumption of their juices. The fiber in whole oranges helps to slow sugar absorption, a mechanism absent in juices. But could the excessive consumption of oranges, even in their natural form, be counterproductive? While the risks of consuming oranges are largely associated with unusual excesses, the evidence to date indicates that the benefits far outweigh the risks for the general population. However, for individuals with specific conditions, such as diabetes or gastrointestinal problems, consultation with health professionals is indispensable. The orange, as part of a balanced and diverse diet, remains as a whole food with proven health benefits though not exempt from a potential for abuse when decontextualized from nutritional moderation. Concluding our journey through the dual nature of the orange, we face a mosaic of science and perception. The evidence leads us to recognize that the orange, with its rich composition of vitamin C, fiber, and phytonutrients, remains an ally of health when consumed in its natural form and in moderation. The fears surrounding its sugar content, though not unfounded, are mitigated by conscious and balanced consumption. Ultimately, 
The orange is neither a saint nor a sinner in the realm of nutrition. It is human consumption that dictates its role in our health. If we adhere to the wisdom of moderation and variety, in our diet, the orange will continue to be a source of well-being rather than a disguised sugar bomb.